Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I wanted to talk about John Adams and his gift of homespun. Now, I imagine that that statement will mean nothing to most individuals. However, it is very, very important, and I'll explain it to you. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson had become basically alienated from each other through the medium of politics. Their philosophies were totally different, and their whole book of rules, to a major degree, were quite different. And it was through the efforts of Dr. Benjamin Rush that brought these two titans together. Now, six years ago, I recorded a piece here about Dr. Benjamin Rush and the gift of prophecy. It's amazing. Six years have gone by since I did that. However, I talked about the rekindling of the relationship there through Dr. Benjamin Rush. But it was very difficult to get these two stubborn, brilliant men to talk to each other. There was a lot of hurt on Adam's side, and there was a lot of indifference on Jefferson's side. Jefferson felt that he had been kind of treated poorly by Adams, and Adams felt that he had been terribly treated by Jefferson. So, through the efforts of Dr. Benjamin Rush, John Adams is the one that finally took the leap. And he wrote a letter January 1st, 1812 to Thomas Jefferson saying, and I paraphrase, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, things are well here. I'm sending you a gift of homespun in a separate package. Now, Jefferson received that letter and immediately wrote back to Adams and spent half the letter talking about the textile industry because that's what he thought was coming. But that gift of homespun was something very different and something near and dear to Jefferson and Adams. And that was John Quincy Adams, who Adams said to Jefferson, he is as much your son as he is mine. You see, John Quincy grew up uh, rather quickly, actually. He was, at the age of 10, his father's secretary in France. And, of course, learned much going around France with Benjamin Franklin and spending a lot of time with Thomas Jefferson. Probably due to John Adams' busy schedule, John Quincy spent more time with Franklin and Jefferson than he did with his father. Of course, they did have plenty of time together, but that is one of the reasons why Adams said to Jefferson, he is your son as much as he is mine, because all of them had a hand in raising this most unique, spectacular, and intellectual giant of an individual. I, for 25 years of my life, tried to find copies of that homespun. I should first tell you what the homespun was. It was a, a series of books written by John Quincy Adams on rhetoric and oratory. In fact, I have the books here. There's one of them. This is volume one and volume two. Quite old. They came out in 1810. And what is interesting about this is it's a spectacular book. I don't know if I can do this, but I'm going to try. See if you can see the front plate of this. Yep, 
That is the book. That is the homespun. It wasn't fabric. It wasn't cloth. It was the writings of John Quincy Adams. Now, what I find really neat is for 25 years, I tried to find copies of this homespun. It's not at all a common book. It's quite rare. But I felt that that was one of the most important things to find because you can think of it this way, that it was a series of books that were in the libraries of John Adams, John Quincy Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Madison, possibly James Monroe. And uh, it was neat if I could get them and have them in my library. Well, I looked, tried to find them, it wasn't easy. I found them at times, and they were prohibitively expensive. So an odd thing happened. One day, I saw the books on eBay. And I bid. Not a whole heck of a lot, because I don't have a whole heck of a lot. And I said, well, it's fun to do this, but I'll never get them. The books were selling for several hundred at times i saw i've seen them for a thousand i've seen them whatever i bid one hundred dollars no one else bid and i got them <laughs> i think it was for much less than one hundred dollars because they had a minimum bid whatever it was but nonetheless it's kind of funny that i found them of all places on ebay and so today, in my library, I have those books. I have that gift of homespun, which I have read. It's a, it's a difficult read. It's not easy. But it's reading as was done 200 years ago, when people read in detail. So the gift of homespun is the gift that started that whole relationship of John Adams and Thomas Jefferson together again, in which they would start corresponding, in which they would start sending letters to each other. And that these books were the key to opening up the gate of correspondence between the greatest two individuals involved in the Declaration of Independence. John Adams, and Thomas Jefferson, and written, of course, by their son, John Quincy Adams.